Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Neal. I'm a family physician at Park Nicollet Clinic in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. We are part of the Health Partners uh, Care Group and in conjunction with the Health Partners Institute, I recently published a paper entitled An Electronic Teen Questionnaire, the E-Teen-Q for Risk Behavior Screening During Adolescent Well Visits in an Integrated Health System, Development and Pilot Implementation. And this was published in JMIR Pediatrics and Parenting. For our project, we took an existing 29 question adolescent risk uh, questionnaire and converted it to an electronic version. At three pilot sites, we had adolescents ages 12 to 18 who were there for well child visits to complete the questionnaire electronically. And then we asked them um, at the end of the questionnaire whether they were willing to have their questions uh, stored in the electronic health record and whether or not they consented to have their uh, data used for research. So basically we were looking at how easily it would be for adolescents to do this questionnaire on an electronic tablet versus on paper. And then um, as far as we knew, nobody had actually asked adolescents if they were willing to have their data stored in the, in the electronic health system. And actually, we found that uh, over 86% of adolescents were fine having all of the um, risk questions that they answered um, stored in our electronic health record. And about 76% were okay having their data used for research. We also asked the staff and clinicians at the site uh, what their experience was, and um, overwhelmingly, um, it was positive. They thought that adolescents um, liked doing the um, questionnaire electronically better than on paper. They thought that the it lended an element of confidentiality, um, and they also thought that they got more um, positive screen results uh, with using the tablet versus when they had done it on paper. We chose to submit to JMIR Pediatrics and Parenting because of the nature of our topic. Uh, our research explored the intersection of technology and adolescent risk behavior and prevention in primary care practices. The editors and administrative staff were very supportive. Thank you.